who is the company's best leader overall? The best leader overall was Sergeant Rogers, Paul Rogers, Paul C. Rogers, platoon sergeant of the third platoon. He was made platoon sergeant doing baston. He was the finest soldier. If I were considered half the soldier that he was, and I was a pretty damn good soldier, if I were considered half the soldier he was, I'd be happy, satisfied. That's how much I thought about him. What made him a strong leader? I couldn't tell you. It was natural. Well, I had to command by maybe yelling quite a bit, and I did. Thank God I did. He didn't have to yell. Something about him that just gelled with anybody. And he knew his stuff. He learned. He wanted to know. He was anxious to know. He was anxious to do right. See, it's a core cool man. It's a core cool man, yes. He's still living. He's 97 years old. Another question I had jotted down was, do you believe leaders are born or they can be made? Leaders are made. Soldiers are made. They're not born. They're made. They're made by hard work, trying to do what they were supposed to do, and dedication, and want. Want. You desire something is fine, unless you really want it and you work for it. 